everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, I think last time we left off, yeah, we were in the investigation phase. I don't, yeah, we like just started the investigation phase. Hi there. Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow on the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that what killed her, but according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. And I could see trace of blood on her lips for sure. So, what would have caused her to vomit blood? Well... Uh... I don't know. A blow to the stomach. Poison. Many things. Monokuma file specifically said that she hadn't suffered any other injuries. Maybe she ate some bad sushi, some gas station sushi. I wouldn't doubt it. Maybe you're getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood. Is that a thing? Does she just vomit blood? Not a chance. B Byakuya? That's However, your eyes have landed on a most interesting location. Interesting? Naturally. Yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. She probably has some bad sushi. I'm telling you. There are shards of glass scattered all around the chair Sakura was sitting on. The glass is all red, and these are the top and bottom sections of a bottle, right? So this must have been originally been a bottle. Oh, man. <laughs> he put two and two together. It's insane. Huh. There's something else on the ground near the glass. It's a figure. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's a Monokuma figure? Figure on the floor has been added to the truth bullet section. Oh man, I'm picking up on these truth bullets. One of these things? No, four red bells. No, that's a different... No, wait. The horse. Yeah, it's missing the horse one. And inside each bottle, there's some kind of Monokuma figure. What I'm wondering is, how'd they get those figures inside the bottle? A, a, a trick. Call it a trick. So... It's no different from your standard ship in a bottle. Huh? You know where the bottle's opening is smaller than the boat place inside? Because you build it from the outside. You never seen that? Oh yeah, maybe I have. In other words. So this is the Monokuma version of that Monokuma bottle, if you will. Monokuma bottle's been added to the truth bullet section. I feel like I'm finally starting to make sense of things, little by little. <laughs> How? I feel like I have not. Oh, okay, Monokuma bottle sitting on the shelf. The Monaco figure was found on the ground. The red shards of glass was probably started out as a bottle. Which means Sakura must have been hit in the head with a Monaco bottle. Okay. I thought, like, he was starting to figure out the puzzle it set, like, the whole entire murder, but no, he's just restating the obvious. <laughs> shards of Monaco and the Monaco file are evidence of that. So I think it's safe to assume that Monaco bottle is the weapon. Huh. Yeah? This looks like some kind of wrapper. Huh? Ah, that's... Do you recognize it, Hina? Well, well, yeah. I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. Sakura got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack and attacked me, right? So, after we left the nurse's office, I gave it to her. It might help her calm down a little. So, you gave her that candy to Sakura? I found a big box of it in the warehouse. I really like him. Actually, as soon as we could get into the warehouse... I took the entire box back to my room. I made sure that nobody else could get their hands on him. You really like him that much. I mean... But I wanted Sakura to get a chance to try one for herself. That's why I gave it to her. But now, they are lost all their flavor. Hina. Polka dot candy wrapper has been added to the truth bowl section. Oh man, that's gotta do some truth stuff. Okay. You, I got an account for me. We already know who did it! <laughs> Byakuya, Toko, Hiro, it has to be one of them! They could have stand the side of her! You agree with me, don't you, Makoto? Um, well, I don't want to say anything for sure without finding out more. Like I said, AoE said it's those guys, so it's clearly not one of them. Let me help you find out more. You see, Sakura asked all three of us to meet with her. You know where? Right here in the rec room. What? 
after I went to the nurse's office this morning, Sakura and I both left together, right? Well, eventually we went off on our own. But when I saw her again after that, she told me she said she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon, the Monokuma filed said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth. I heard it right from Sakura himself. And I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry that she just wanted to talk to them. And this is what happened. If I'd stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. I'm just going to tell you right now, you would have not been able to stop Sakura by force. Like, yeah, good chance that's not happening. <laughs> you know, it's possible not to have regrets, I know. Aoi's account. But the fact that she had asked about those three to meet with her, she asked them to come to the rec room at Newton, the same time and place she ended up dying. Might be good to confirm what I just heard of the three of them directly. Hello, do you have information However, for me? But for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. It's true. And she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? Must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly. S certainly they would have needed to if they expected to stand any chance against her. What? What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Hmm. Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her here in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. That it's true? Hmm. I did receive a note to that effect. Yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? Hmm. Of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Byakuya said he didn't go see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but accept it as fact. Come on. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. <laughs> okay, thanks. Ah, Byakuya. You exist. We got some... Protozyne X. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. So... It looks like a protein drink and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. You need a bit to build up that freaking large of a martial arts body. And she mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. Wrong. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can... It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Just a second. But that's strange. Huh? What is it? Hey. You see that what's scattered around the can? Glass. Shards of glass. Light blue glass. They must be parts of the window I broke to get inside. Correct. But they aren't just scattered around the can, they're also underneath it. So, the protein bottle was put there after I broke the glass. Interesting. Why does that matter? Well, clearly, I mean, timeline of events, my guy. So... I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take a note of it. I feel like it'll become an important clue later on. An important clue? I'm not sure how... Sure, I see how. I mean, guy, my guy, it's like... If you broke glass, it shouldn't be underneath the bottle. Alright, I think that's everything for this room. The only door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window, which happened, of course, when I broke in to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Okay, can I leave now? Oh. Leave. R. I used... <sighs> I did examine it as much as possible. What else do I need? Oh. I didn't see that. There's bloodstains from the magazine shelf. It must have come from Sakura, right? But that doesn't make sense. Why is it so far away from where she died? Because maybe she bonked and then decided to go sit down. 
All right, are we good now? Click, keep on forgetting, gotta click R. Yeah. No, I already examined. Oh, locker. What? Thing? Huh. Locker's open, and they're on the inside. Is it handprints? Why? Or is it? What's a handprint doing here? I don't know. Maybe someone wanted to coat the locker in flour and just put their hands all over it. I, you know, people do weird things. Looks like someone touched the inside of the locker and left a handprint in all the dust. Or dust, I guess. It's true. It looks quite fresh, too. I'd say someone was hiding here in the locker, and they left behind a little something extra. So then, maybe the killer hid in here until the locked room was open, don't you think? I feel like we would have noticed that. And during all the confusion, they popped out and joined the rest of the group. Again, I feel like we would have noticed that. Wrong. Unfortunately, that's not a possibility. Huh? Why not? Hey. Think back, before we opened the door, he looked inside the room, right? Oh, the door was already open. Oh, yeah, and the locker was already open at that point. Indeed. So there's no way someone could have hidden in there until after we opened the door. Yeah, so then... What does this handprint mean? Well, it means someone touched to the dust. Are we good now? Can I leave? How many clues can be within this area? Magazines, are they a clue? Uh, yeah, not a clue. Maybe the, uh, maybe the game they were playing, you know? Pool table? Oh, the chair, the chair, the chair. Completely forgot about that. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. Hmm, having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. Which is still why I think maybe Sakura offed herself. Maybe like hit her head with a bottle or something. <laughs> kind of an odd thing, but yeah. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening. There was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from the inside, not from the outside. But if it's a locked door and you can't physically get out, then there's straight up only one person who can lock the door. Unless, yeah. That, that's like the only way that can actually happen. Listen. Well, Makoto, have you finished with your general investigation? Yeah, I think so for the most part. Then. then you should probably go talk with the people now. I'm gone guard duty, so I can leave. Listen to me. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She's decided. She's got a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura so wanted to meet with the two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Maybe they'll say a lot. Maybe they'll say a little. I can leave finally. Oh, finally. Oh. Those other two probably went to their rooms. Oh, room people. Uh, Hero and... Who else? Okay, Toko and Hero. Cool. Had to make sure. Oh, Toko! I pressed the doorbell. Dig it on. After a few seconds. Uh-huh. Who's, <laughs> Who's there? Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. This is a very familiar scene. An aura of total decay. <laughs> That's a little mean to talk about someone. Hey, you remind me of the aura of decay. How? What do you want? I, I want to know why you're decaying. So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Yeah. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. No. I was in such a good mood, too. Uh, you've never seen like a good mood. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? 
Probably. <laughs> Obviously annoyed, Togo slithered out into the hall. Slithered like a freaking snake. <laughs> what do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I mean, about something. Yes, talk. Reaction. I wanted to talk to you about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're t talking about. Miyaki already told me she had asked to meet with him. <laughs> what? She wanted to meet with Master too? <laughs> ah, I s said too, didn't I? Yeah. I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Y yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> I am admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to do go. Hmm, Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I prove otherwise, I have no choice to accept it as fact. Toko didn't go see her, but I have a feeling Genocide Jack would have no fear. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to m my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Can we get Genocide Jack's account now? I don't think Yasuhiro would have won. I pressed the doorbell, and after a few seconds, you know. What's up, Makoto? Did he need something? Yes, please. Reaction. Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about Sakura. I wanted to meet with you. <laughs> How did you know about that? Could it be? What? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your ability, special abilities awakened in you? Uh, um... But, but I'm not the only one she yet wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byaki and Toko to come, too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh! Well, uh, um, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Uh, yeah, uh, a note. She uh, how about that? she gave it to me in person. She happened to mention the others, like in passing. You mentioned things in such a gosh darn suspicious way. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. <laughs> yeah. So when you went on a met with Sakura, then no way. I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah. Definitely suspicious. I mean, you already talked to her in person. Actually, Last time I saw Ogre was when Ina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. But she told you to meet her. While I'm here, can you show me the note she gave you? Uh, um, oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Kuro's feeling around in his pockets. Hey, ah, on. sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. When he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Huh? Hero, you're looking hella suspicious. But... I don't... Okay. There's a good reason I don't believe Hero could have do done it. He's not that smart to create a closed room murder. <laughs> A locked door murder. See, I can't even figure out how it could have been done. So, I don't think Hero could have done it. What? Nah. Because the wind Hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. Hey, <laughs> come on. Sorry, just a bit of trap. Just a bit of trash we gotta throw out. Trash? <laughs> anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked to meet with me, but I never went. So, well, if you'll excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Yeah, it was the candy wrapper. Okay, I've heard about Toko and Hero. What next? I definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that, maybe I can find out a protein can we found at the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So, where should I start? Probably the chem lab. I can teleport. I forgot which floor that's on. Right here. Heck yeah. Teleportation is nice every now and then. What's in here? Oh! Hi there. Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. Gosh, damn it. How did you get here faster than me? Well, I mean, to be fair, I guess I went and talked with people, but... I think you... 
I think what you meant to say was, yes, sir, I understand. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Why is every character so far very disagreeable with? I mean, besides Yasuhiro, but he's kind of just suspicious and dumb at the, every second. <laughs> this isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't go over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. More, but more important right now, that's the powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? Or what's the powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. Someone clearly have already done so. These are footprints? They're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We need to take a sketch out of the floor plan. But we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, you hand me a piece of paper and pen. Were you just carrying that on you? Well, let's go, chop chop. <laughs> okay. So I got to work and then before long I drawn up a sketch of the room. So, um, so how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. Uh, you piece of garbage, terrible person. For me? I see. So when you look at it like this, interesting. It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business in the uh, leftmost most shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be... It's Makoto, are possible. they yours? No. No! What? Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quickly did what Byakuya said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately, he wanted to pin me for murder. Hmm. With how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these footprints are a real valuable clue. Yeah, I guess. Oh, poison. There's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder come from? Came from? Looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. <laughs> this is freaking dump C4. <laughs> Do we have a bottle of C4? Like... You dumped C4 all over the ground. Hmm. Would you look like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at the point this room wasn't like this. Then this powder must have been spilled. So in That's right, words, it could only have been around the time of the incident. Is that really when it happened? It must be related to the case somehow. <laughs> Maybe. Poison! Hey, you know what? Sakura could have been poisoned. That's how the locked room murder could have happened, right? Maybe, let's see. Hold up, my brain's working, my brain's working. I mean, no, okay. I mean, she clearly, that that's how the vomit, the blood vomit happened, right? Maybe that's how, if someone did attack her, that's how they got the upper hand, because she was poisoned. That would make sense. Ah, uh, so, what's the yellow powder? There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the ground floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. I should probably take a good, hard look at the powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. Yeah, I'm looking, and it's so... What grainy powder. There's also remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle's labeled Chem C4. It also looks like someone left a footprint in the powder. Based on the positioning of the prints, however, it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would have had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Noise. Okay. Check the C4. On the shelf is... It looks like... And I can... Wait. One looks and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. These look like poisonous... Poisons and other powerful chemicals. 
All containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number, so I guess I consider the part of the shelving unit. Section C. I mean, there's literally a thing that says C, like, on it, so I wouldn't understand why you wouldn't think that. Is that all I want to mention? These look like Poison's other pal chemicals. All the can. Yep. Okay. First, I have to check out the area. Okay. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary uh, supplements and different medicines. And a C9. The protein drink found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. Well, clearly not all of them. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh. But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chemo C9. Could someone have put this here on accident? Maybe. So on this shelf is... It looks like a bunch of chemicals. I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're red regions. Put simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. How about you live, have you, how have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. I mean, to be fair, not everyone took chem. D isn't that kind of harsh? What? What, you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? I mean, for mathematics, kind of, I mean, there's some stuff where you're just like, I don't, I never really saw the purpose. Fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. <laughs> anyway. That doesn't matter. Right now, I need to focus on that shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled the letter B in a number. So I guess I consider this part of the shelving unit section B. Hmm, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. In which case, I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. I should find out how more about the shelving unit. It looks like it's split into three sections. We already touched on this matter. Section A is dietary supplements. Section B is riches. And section C is lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten into the protein gotten the protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A, there was a bottle to label from section C. So, it looks like they... They got... They probably touched section C and then spilt it afterwards. There was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A. There's definitely something going on there. Probably. Chemlo... Lab's shelf has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around the rec room. What what else is there to like see around the rec room? Like I felt like we discovered everything because it like forcibly made us discover everything. Alright, heading downstairs. Uh, rec room, rec room. I know where that's at. I'm here. Now, what other evidence is around the rec room? Hey. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyokyo and Toko and Hiro what Toko and Hiro told me. I see. I see. So, along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I, like I said, it could have been Genocide Jack. Because Toko has no memory of that. And she wouldn't be fearful. Well, I made some progress of my own. And also, Hiro c definitely could be lying. Because he has the rapper. Well, I've made some progress of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf, the magazines, and the Malakuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look them over once more time. How have the magazine hiding clues some kind? Hmm, clue. Clue. Oh my gosh! An upside down magazine! <laughs> the best clue. Huh, oh, this magazine is upside down. Did someone put it back the way that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. This is on one of the pages near the center of the magazine. A word had been written in bold, bloody letters, and it said, "Toko." Could this be a dying message? Ah, 
This is mildly suspicious. Correct. Then it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this so... is indeed a dying message. Someone used their fingers to write it. A dying message? Yeah, I have no idea how this fits in unless Toko did something. However, But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that, but I found it in a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That says Toko, right? Y yeah, it looks like it. What the heck? Then, she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Uh, it's settled! She's the killer for sure! I just... I don't trust that! Because... Oh my gosh, but AoE's... Like... The problem is AoE's... Like, accusing a large part of the cast right now. So, maybe this time she's accusing someone right? But, like, I would have go with my gut instinct and say AoE's not accusing any of the people because that's how it's been for the entire game so far. That's conclusive evidence, right? We could use it to get the court of the killer. I can see why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me think that... It makes me that much more suspicious. Also, the same thing Hifumi was like, hero. So... It doesn't have to be, like, purely, like, just because it's a dying message doesn't mean it's that. It could be something else. We'll find out. But it is suspicious. Okay, the body. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just staring off to space is going to help me figure anything out. I'm looking at the body. Come on out. Let me do my detective work. Well, well yeah, I know, but... Hey. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although there still are there are still some times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. Yeah, I mean it's kind of I mean understandable. It's true. That's totally normal. I'm not normal. I just. I'm just a more. I'm, I'm a serial killer. Uh, then how can you? So. I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch bed, dead bodies in the past. Yep, yeah, I'm right. A serial killer. <laughs> what? Sorry. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Yellow dust. Her shoes. Correct. You see that yellow powder on her instep? Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Mmm, so vicious. Because, oh, so itchy nose. Gosh damn it. But, like, that's the same powder as, like, the one chemical stuff. Hey. Next is a wound on her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me just explain. It would, seem... it would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows on the head. Yeah, I get, that'd be kind of hard to tell. Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of their hands were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's examination of somebody has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I can't believe she was able to learn all that by just looking at her body. I mean, all you gotta do is look, I guess. I don't think anyone but Kyoko could have pulled that off. That's fair. I mean, if well, no, it's pretty easy to tell if there's two impact spots. Kinda. No, because I guess there's a bunch of hair in the way, too. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what else was it? Did I have to look at the blood stain too? Her blood stain shelf, I can only see the blood is cursed, but that's strange if true. Why is it so far away from where she died? What else was it that I had to look at? The shelf magazine, the monocle bottles, okay. I already looked at these things though. There's two of them missing. Oh, I get now what she was talking about. Kiyoko said that she found a new clue involving the monocle bottles. 
Something new. Something new. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay t careful attention, you're sure to find it. Yeah, the knight was in between probably the rook and that thing, and then the queen is missing too. Correlation. Um. Hey, Kyoko, can you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer? <laughs> also, that's not entirely true, because no one in the trials come to their own conclusion. It is always me that comes to the conclusion, and then everyone else has to be satisfied with it. That's what I found out. I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree? Monokuma Bovado has been updated to the truth bullets of your handbook. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma Bovado that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces, too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with a crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious Byakia is not here, so... so then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the glass. With that, Kyoko left the room. <gasps> We're gonna do some detective chemistry work. I, don't really, I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I better just do it. I took the broom and dustman and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. Are we going to try to glue them together, see if they make a bottle? And just as I finished up... Sorry to keep you waiting. So then. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare the weights. Okay, that's okay. That's probably a bit easier than uh, trying to build the bottle and see if it's a complete bottle. <laughs> compare the weights of what? Hmm. Pieces of glass you collect in one of the Monaco bottles that's still intact. <sighs> Why do you want to do that? What's the point? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. Alright, equal weight. It's balanced. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Which makes sense. Monokuma figures inside are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the weight. Yeah. So then. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on the side of the scale, on one side of the scale. Now might wh what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll bounce out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, let's give it a try. Huh? Yeah, so that means... Also, I'm going to point out that there's a lot less glass. There, that should not be heavier. Like, looking from that image... Honestly, no. <laughs> it just should not be as heavy. <laughs> Alright, uh... The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The rules of our experiment, the correlation between each of the bottles, put it all together. Hey. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. <laughs> you could just tell us. Oh! Is it already trial time? Alright, we'll see where the trial goes. I'm not too sure what the conclusion is. Whoops! You caught me sleeping! Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake! I get it, Monokuma. You just want to murder someone. Should I get I it. it. Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Do okay, what? Okay, then let's begin the class trial! Alrighty. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Class <laughs> trial time! Oh. And we're going to unlock a new floor. Gosh, we're unlocking so many new floors. It's already time? But the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. Okay, no, it, it's no doubt that Sakura put the door... I don't know if she particularly off herself. It could have been, like, a murder. But there's no doubt I think Sakura put the chair there. For sure. 
At this point, whatever happens will have to happen in the Clash file. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. Yeah, of course, because Kyoko probably knows the entire thing. Byakuya probably knows the entire thing. Half the characters left probably know the answer. I just don't, and they were not willing to tell me. I guess I'll actually start the trial this time. Maybe. Oh, Toki actually came. Monokuma made his announcement. Everyone began to meet up, one after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! The locked room murder mystery! What? What the... <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! Like, no matter how awful everything is, something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive! Yes, indeed! For example... <laughs> if you're at a picnic and you find a dead body! You know, only we're able to see the emoticons. This is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, For example, do you have a hundred friends? Sad face. Oh, depressing. He's right. That does make it seem sad. I can't wait. Now then, please get on the elevator. I'll see y'all down there. No, this is exactly how one of my friends types. They use emoticons non-stop. What the hell was that? I don't get it. I don't get you guys. How could you act so casual after murdering someone? Well, maybe they didn't do it. I I don't think I'm acting casual. Or, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. Yeah, I'm c completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. Hm. Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. Because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murders Sakura. <laughs> she was stronger than anyone I knew. I know. And yet, someone killed her. She was weakened with poison. And that person is here? The person... Is one of us? D don't look at me. I said it before and I'll say it again, it wasn't me. <laughs> the culprit is one of us. Make no mistake about that. You know, it could have been Yasuhiro. If, uh, if I do believe that the person that did it may have not made the locker room to murder. Because, like, I feel like they could have caused the start like, they could have... What I'm thinking, right? Is they poisoned Sakura. Right? And then took her by surprise. And whatnot. And attacked her. Now, either the poison or the injury ended up killing her. But for some reason, Sakura herself locked the room. If that's the case... Then... Like, it could have been Hero, because Hero is very suspicious, but, and he, like, he could have done something dumb, like, attack and leave. I don't know. But because I didn't do it, how many times do I have to tell you? How can you just stand there and say you didn't do it, without even breaking a sweat? Because maybe they didn't do it. Hey. Standing around here isn't going to do any good. Let's get going. Fine then. Jeez. Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way to the elevator. But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel the chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. Watch the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. Oh, but no, it can't be Genocide Jack. Because Genocide Jack only attacks with scissors. We know this. Even when she attacked like AoE at one point, scissors. So definitely. See, I always. I always thought that Genocide Jack or Toka would have already been murdered by now. You know why? 
because I feel like the authors of this entire story can't really do anything with their character anymore. Because, like, if she murders someone, it'd have to be Toko, and Toko doesn't... Maybe. She could go all to Sandre and, like, and do it for... Uh, Biakia or something like that, but... A genocide jack can, uh, themselves cannot murder people. Oh, I guess Toko can't do it either because of the blood thing, but... I don't know, I always thought since, like, there, there could never really be suspicion for her because of, like, the whole scissors thing, that it's really hard to do anything with her. It fell lower and lower, and as suddenly as always, the ride was over. The doors opened once again. Hmm, just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few! You must be so lonely! You say that like it's not your fault we're all le that's left. I wonder, will the class trial end with one last classmate again? Or will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. now then, as we're ready to begin, you know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Yes, I'll save. Oh yeah, we need to like... We got new skills, right? Increases the time limit for each phase. Steadies your aim a little effective. Oh! I do like the power of steadying aim. The focus gauge decreases more slowly during concentration and fever time, effective during the non-stop debate. Oh, that's actually really nice. Um. Reload two bullets at once. So, what, wait, what's the robot jock? Man, all these are kind of good. Because... I really want Neural Liberation. Okay, we don't need Influence Gauge. Maybe. Alright, Neural Liberation. Oh, and I wanted cool and composed as well. That's eh, alright. Okay. Before we do anything, I am going to end this episode. Actually, well, I gotta finish preparations. Let's begin with a basic. No, we're not gonna begin. We're gonna end this episode here. So thank y'all so much for watching. If you're enjoying, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and well, I'll see y'all in the next one where we go into trial. Adios.